in the Big Ten, you got three teams in the preseason top 25, and Indiana sits as the highest ranked of those teams at 13. Which of those three do you think is the best this season? Yeah, you guys were just talking. You just want to bet on what you want to bet on, right? And Indiana right. is not <laughs> pick to win the Big Ten this year. They come in with a lot of hype. They're the favorite. There's good high expectations around them. I mean, and for good reason. They return uh, Trace Johnson Davis and Reese Thompson, who both kind of flirted with the NBA over the past uh, couple of years. They return for starters. So this team on paper looks really good because they're returning a lot of players, where the rest of the Big Ten is kind of having to retool in a year that's supposed to be a down year for the conference. But Illinois would be my pick to win. I love Brad Underwood and the coaching job that he's done there. Now, they lost eight of their top ten players, so you're having to bring in new guys to replace Kofi Coburn. How do you do that? Um, Alfonso Plummer, all of those guys. But Illinois would be my pick just because there's more versatility on this roster than they've had in recent years. And Underwood, with his coaching style, I think uh, I think they're going to be pretty successful. Kate, do you think it's smart to bet on college basketball like the first few weeks of the season? Because I always find myself like not really wanting to dive in head first just because I feel like there's so much volatility. So are you more cautious at the start of the year? Yes, much more cautious. And that was something going into the NBA season this year that I tried to practice a little bit more is to be more selective with my picks and um, kind of more conservative going in. So I had very few NBA picks the first first week of the season. I guess we're not even that far in. But that's what I plan to do again with the college basketball season because with so much turnover, especially in this conference this year, uh, it's hard to know what these teams are going to look like, to your point. So I, I might try and watch some of their preseason games uh, or exhibition games. Those are always bad, not good basketball to watch, but you get a little sense of rotations, who's going to be playing with who, um, maybe what players, coaches are favoring down the stretch, things like that. So that's kind of going to be my approach to start this college basketball season.